Welcome to the Tech Files, which is now rebranded to Future Sandwich News. Now I host Future Sandwich, winner of Australia's best tech podcast, and the Tech Files, your favourite weekly tech news program, so it made sense to simplify it into one masthead. So, welcome to Future Sandwich News. Here are the top five stories in tech this week. Thanks, as always, to our sponsor, Lead Express, guaranteeing ROI for your next B2B campaign. Five. Self-driving truck platform, too simple, backed by Goodyear Ventures, trucking company Navistar and Volkswagen are targeting a $7.85 billion IPO. The company is building what they call the world's first autonomous freight network, or AFN, with over 5,000 purpose-built, fully autonomous trucks reserved by fleet operators so far. Basically, the AFN creates pit stops just short of the city on the highways, where fully automated trucks pull in and then get a human driver to finish the journey's last mile. The majority of the revenue will be generated from per mile fees charged to users of the AFN. You could call it trucking as a service, or TAS. In fact, they already have. Four. Laurel Space's 63% owned Telesat is expected to finalise financing shortly for its Lightspeed broadband constellation, along with contracts to launch a fleet of 300 satellites. The rollout is expected to cost $5 billion and kick off in 2022. It's going to get messy up there, with the next decade promising tens of thousands of satellites in Earth's orbit, led by Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink and Amazon's Project Kuiper. Three. Neuro will start delivering Domino's Pizza in Houston as part of a pilot program. Select customers who make a prepaid delivery order can elect to receive their delivery from Neuro's R2 robot, receiving a unique pin via SMS, which is then entered on a touchpad once the R2 arrives. Australians can't be trusted with this technology. I can see the poor robots fleeced of their large pepperoni by passers-by and then tossed into the Yarra River on the opening weekend. Two. Roblox jumped 10% after announcing a deal with Hasbro to create a range of Roblox-inspired Nerf blasters. The physical blasters will come with a code, which kids can use to redeem a virtual blaster for their avatar within the game. The $4.2 billion move might seem a little excessive. However, it prices in a highly unique monetization and ad revenue strategy, which we're likely at the very cusp of. Kids asking their parents for micropayments is just the start. Imagine redemption codes for the likes of Nike, Toyota, and the AFL. One. And let's nerd out with the top story this week. Leading chip manufacturer NVIDIA have just had their annual Investor Day, where they announced a new data center CPU encroaching seriously on Intel's domain. NVIDIA has always focused on graphic processors, or GPUs, and Intel has dominated computer processors, or CPUs, until now. And with the innovative momentum behind NVIDIA, they have a scary potential to make Intel the next Kodak or Blockbuster. And that's a wrap for this week. Big thanks to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. You can catch their substack below. And our sponsor, Lead Express, who can guarantee the results for your next B2B campaign. Click their link below to find out what ROI you can lock in for 2021. My name is Tommy McCubbin and you can find me at futuresandwich.com. This has been Future Sandwich News. We'll see you next week.